quick video request. I uh, got an email that said, did you see the article on Boxing Scene about Derek Chisora potentially fighting Ustinov? How did you see that fight going? Um, I'll try and keep this one brief. I did see the article. Um, I understand Frank Warren Bazali is working with Ustinov, um, trying to launch his career. Uh, who knows the truth behind that story? But anyway, Ustinov's promoter said he was working with Frank Warren, potentially looking to set up a uh, Ustinov Chisora fight, uh, I think for July actually, so relatively short notice. And there's been a few rumblings about a Chisora comeback. I've heard Chisora Price, Chisora Joshua, a few names out there. Um, I'd like to see any, uh, any Chambers involved in some form or another. If Frank Warren's working with Ustinov, you know, Ustinov. Chambers is a good fight, Joshua Chambers is a good fight, Price Chambers, you know, there's potential to get Eddie Chambers involved, and for me, he's almost a more interesting fighter than Ustinov or, or Chisora, he's got a higher upside, but anyway, I won't talk about that now, I've got to answer the question in hand. So yeah, I did see the article, I was slightly confused by it, um, Ustinov is one of those fights where he's not exactly high reward, is he? He's not highly rated. Very few people would class him as a top 20 heavyweight, but he's big, he's got a jab, he, he can take a punch, you know, he's he's a, he's a test, I guess. And a, a question in my mind is, what does Ustinov do for Derek Chisora right now? Where does beating Ustinov put Chisora? I don't really see where the reward is for, for Chisora. For Ustinov, I see why he'd want that fight. You know, Chisora's quite a beatable guy, tends to lose as he steps up in opposition, tends to lose when he fights a taller opponent. Um, and for Ustinov, I guess, there's more reward from beating Chisora. Uh, I guess, you know, Chisora's a name, and potentially beating him could get you a fight against an Anthony Joshua or a, or a David Price or someone of that nature, maybe a Huey Fury. Uh, it would certainly put him in the, in the limelight amongst UK boxing fans if he beat Chisora. Now, in terms of how I see the fight going... Both guys, fundamentally, I view as limited. And both guys, I don't view as having the upside and the potential to hit heavyweight top 10 level at this stage. And that's evidenced by the fact that they both have lost when stepping up. You know, Chisora, we know against David Hay, Klitschko, uh, Vitali Klitschko, Tyson Fury twice, uh, Robert Hellenius, whether you think he won that fight or not, very, very close. And again, it's when Chisora steps up. Uh, Yusnov. Got, his, got beaten by uh, Kubrat Pulev when he stepped up. Interestingly, he used to not beat David Tua. Now, he beat a very old, very faded, uh, very out of shape David Tua. Nevertheless, there are some similarities stylistically between Tua and Chisora. Specifically, an old Tua and Chisora. They both got that kind of uh, you know, style where they're shorter heavyweights, powerfully built, uh, come in low, try and bob and weave, try and throw you know, looping punches, overhand punches, that side of things. And, and Ustinov was able to deal with those things. Ustinov's got height. Ustinov's got a jab. Um, which are things we've seen Chisora struggle with. I mean, fundamentally, he couldn't get inside the Fury jab last time out. Now, I think the difference between Fury and Ustinov is I think Fury's a much more advanced fighter. Also, Fury's a much more versatile fighter. He's a much better mover. And I think... You know, Ustinov, speaking frankly, is very one-dimensional, very plodding, quite one pace. So I think a peak Derek Chisora probably does beat Ustinov. I really do. Uh, I think Chisora will be able to get inside the Ustinov jab, and I think that's pretty much all there is to Ustinov's game. Um, I think Chisora is slightly more explosive, slightly more dynamic, and, you know, if he got inside, could throw hooks, you know, throw combinations, and maybe overwhelm Ustinov. The only risk to this fight is if Chisora comes in very overweight, very under-motivated without training, which let's face it, we know he can do, and it's certainly possible that could happen given the fact that he took a, a horrible loss last time out. You know, Who's to know what his desire is? We know he's had legal trouble since then, so who's to know what Derek Chisora turns up? But if a 20 stone, slow, plodding Chisora did turn up, then Ustinov wins the fight. Because if Chisora didn't have the energy to get inside of the Ustinov jab, Ustinov is so much longer. Ustinov's got a better jab than Chisora that he's going to win the battle from the outside. Because you know Derek Chisora is not an outside fighter in my uh, in my book. So I think 
Pete Derek Chisora or Derek Chisora who beat um, Edmund Gerber, Derek Chisora who beat Kevin Johnson. If that guy turns up, I think he can get inside the Ustinov jab. I think he can offer slightly more than Ustinov. And I see him just about having enough. Uh, only risk is if he turns up hugely under-motivated, hugely overweight, uh, Ustinov will win the battle of the jab. So the question relates to Derek Shura's explosiveness, Derek Shura's footwork, foot speed. Can he get inside? And if he puts on three or four stone of lard, maybe he can't. Um, but right now, good fight, competitive fight, a fight at a certain level, lower European Championship kind of level, um, top 30 heavyweight level, um, I'd lean towards Derek Shaw. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks very much.